If you want to lock apps on Samsung Galaxy S25, you can use a secure folder that allows you to create a separate environment and lock selected apps over there. In order to do so, we can go to settings, scroll down to security and privacy, then go to more security settings, and here we can find secure folder. Press continue twice, and then we need to wait a couple of seconds to create the secure folder. Now we need to create the password for the secure folder. So in this case, we can use pin, password, or pattern, and I'm gonna use a pattern in this case. So enter your password and confirm it. There we go. We can also reset our password with Samsung account if we are signed in. So in case you want to have an option to reset the password, just in case you forget it, then you can allow that. Otherwise, you can just simply press don't allow if you don't care about it. And also we can enable biometrics. In my case, I have fingerprint added so I can use it in order to unlock the secure folder as well. And let's go next. These apps that you can see over here are separate from the same apps that you can find outside of the secure folder. So for example, if I go to my files over here, I can still access it without the password. And if I go to secure folder and I, if I open this my files app, then of course it is uh, empty, it doesn't have anything because I didn't move anything to the uh, My Files app that is inside the secure folder and so on. So as you can see, these apps contain separate data and the secure folder itself has a password. If you want to lock the secure folder, you want to tap on these three dots and choose lock and exit. And then if you try to go back, as you can see, we need to enter the password. You can also adjust that option and you can tap on these three dots and go to settings. And here we can switch auto lock secure folder to each time I leave an app. So whenever you exit the secure folder, you need to enter the password. If you want to add apps, press that this plus button. And let's say we're gonna add Facebook. We're gonna also add Spotify, TikTok, and let's say YouTube, right? And then we're gonna press add. So since the data is separated, you will also need to sign into those apps again, because we have different data, different settings, different accounts. Um, and if you add apps to the secure folder, then um, we can also find an option to add the shortcut to the uh, home screen. So for example, I can press and hold my finger on the app and then choose add to uh, home screen, press add again. And then over here, as you can see, we have the YouTube app. And like I said, these apps are separate. So I can find the YouTube app this one over here and this one doesn't have any password but if i open this one it actually has a password so you don't really remove apps or move them into the secure folder you just create clones instead so whether it is a good thing or a bad thing i guess it's a personal uh, opinion what you can do however if you don't want to have these apps these default apps that are not uh, locked behind the password, you can hide them in the home screen or the app screen. It doesn't really disallow the access to these apps, but at least it is hidden, so you won't get confused. So in order to do so, we can go back to the settings, and this time we're gonna go to home screen, and here we can go to hide apps on home and app screen. And for example, since I uh, removed, or actually added YouTube to the secure lock, uh, then I mean the secure folder then I can add YouTube to the list of hidden apps and now if I try to find it as you can see it is not there it's completely gone from the app screen and the home screen but the YouTube app that I have in the secure folder is still there because like I said it is a separate app now you, like I said you can still access those hidden apps there is no um, there are certain, certain steps that you can do in order to quickly find those apps, for instance, through the apps settings in the settings of the phone or through the Play Store. Uh, but essentially, this is also one of the ways to at least somewhat hide these apps so you don't get confused. And over here, once you create the secure folder, you can find the, um, the secure folder itself in the app screen. And you have uh, some customization options so if you want to somewhat hide the secure folder name it anyway or um, change the icon or something then of course you can do this through customization you can also go through settings in order to adjust the secure folder um, to your needs but that is essentially it this is how we can lock apps on s25 
and we can use a password in order to have a private access to apps and data that is stored in those apps. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!